this question as follows regarding the development of diaphragm which of the following is correct central tendon develops from pleuroperitoneal membrane dorsal or dorsolateral part develops from pleuroperitoneal membrane uh, dorsal crura develop from thoracic intercostal muscles muscular part develops from septum transversum none of the above actually to know this it's very easy um, you first have to know the following uh, intraembryonic coelom has a horse show configuration its anterior part is uh, forming after that the future pericardial cavity where the heart develops inside this cavity and the lateral part forms the future pleuroperitoneal cavities then a thick a thick mesodermal plate called septum transversum uh, which lies cranial to pericardial cavity something called at the fourth week of gestation lateral and craniocaudal folding due to this folding we will not go deep inside these details but the coelom descends caudally where the pericardial cavity lies ventrally the pericardial cavity lies ventrally and the two limbs right and left of pleural cavity come to lie dorsally posteriorly and aorta ivc and foregut which is uh, the esophagus and the stomach will lie to posterior to the pericardial cavity then the septum transversum grows posteriorly the septum transversum goes posteriorly to make it simple the central tendon central tendon from septum transversum but the dorsal lateral parts are from pleuroperitoneal membranes so it's easy the central tendon is from septum transversum and the two syllable dorsolateral is from the two syllable pleuroperitoneal membranes and after that the dorsal crura develop from esophageal mesentery and the muscle part of the diaphragm finally develops from the intercostal thoracic muscles okay and to sum it up the central tendon from septum transversum the dorsolateral part from pleuroperitoneal membrane dorsal crura from esophageal mesentery and muscular part from intercostal thoracic muscles i'll show you a diagram for that the septum transversum here it is the central tendon after that the two pleuroperitoneal membranes here are forming a small part of the diaphragm which we know that it will be the dorsolateral part and the muscular components of the diaphragm will be from the muscular ingrowth from body wall which is intercostal muscle uh, fibers and after that the dorsal crura of the diaphragm will come from esophageal mesentery four parts of the diaphragm embryologically it's simple and easy thank you